16 November 2022 and this is a, a new format that I'm going to try and see if it is popular and I call it the what a fuck moment. This one is what a fuck NATO. Last night we started getting reports of two missiles that hit Polish soil and immediately everybody blamed the Russians and that was like rabbit dogs in the accusations but you have to sit and think for a moment very soon after the first messages start appearing about the strike photographs appeared on telegram of the impact points and it was and there was a lot of commentators that very quickly showed that the missile fragments that was visible there was S300 fragments and yes some commentators or reporters acknowledged that it was S300 and they made a big story that it is Russian made now that can be debated because it's actually Soviet made, not Russian made, but that's academical. There has been a few instances that was documented where the Ukrainians inflicted serious damage to themselves with their anti-air system. And the first one and the most prominent one was the one that they made that accusation that they made when the Russians hit the electricity systems started three weeks ago and the Ukrainian media and propaganda channels published photographs of a missile that landed in a park and they made a more of a story about it and said yes that's a park for kids and if they were kids there would have been a lot of damage but then very quickly the information came out and the evidence came out that was a Ukrainian missile from their air defense system that failed and hit that park from the Russians and look at this image this appeared yesterday morning the Ukrainian air defense hits a five-story apartment building in central Kiev trying to shoot down Russian cruise missiles and that does not dispute that but the Polish thing they tried their best and if you look at these images Polish media reports say two of the missiles fired at Ukraine's energy infrastructure f fell near the town of Grubezow in Poland's Lubeski Wolwodeship on the border with Ukraine. They also reported that two people died in the attack. Yes, and there is the images and you see the damage and there's a fragment that clearly indicated it was a S-300. AP News blurted this, US official, Russian missiles crossed into Poland killing two. A senior US intelligence officer says Russian missiles crossed into NATO member Poland killing two people. Polish government spokesman Mueller did not immediately confirm the information but said top leaders were holding an emergency meeting. And here is another image of the missile fragments. We can confirm that in our opinion these are fragments of S-300 missile. Poland can thank the Ukrainian Nazis for two of its dead citizens. And shortly after that, some joker posted this on Telegram. Breaking! NATO invokes Article 5 against NATO for attacking the territory of a NATO with two S-300 rockets of the Air Defense Forces of the NATO Alliance. I read it and of course you, know, you read things and you read quick and I thought what the fuck? But then I looked again and I realized yeah this was poking fun at NATO but that brings me to the point of the skid mark let's just for a moment forget who fired the missiles forget what type of missiles it was 
the burning question that the media should be on top like crazy people is how the hell did it happen that those two missiles flew into Poland and exploded on Polish soil without being challenged by the NATO anti-air defense system. There is zero indication that anything was done to intercept those missiles. And that fact should make every citizen of Europe fucking nervous today. How is it possible that these two old missiles flew into Poland and exploded unchallenged? Now NATO comes out and they say, yeah, they've tracked the, the flight paths and they can see it was not from Russia and all that type of cock, but that's Im immaterial. The real what a fuck question is, why, where was the NATO anti-air defense system? Poland is awash with NATO bases and NATO soldiers and American soldiers and the fuck knows what else. Poland is basically an extension of America, a province of America, but not a single defensive shot was fired at those two missiles. So what do we have here? What is NATO? There's a lot of posts and articles about the fact that there is already NATO troops fighting in Ukraine, in Ukrainian uniforms. Ukraine is today basically 100% using NATO equipment and the Russians is grinding them to pieces. And NATO wants to be so belligerent and keep on challenging Russia. They're so fucking useless they can't stop two old S-300 missiles. That is a real what a fuck. Here is something more about that. A fragment of the rocket that fell in Poland belongs to the S-300 air defense system. The first photo shows a fragment of a rocket that fell in Poland. The second photo shows the wreckage of the S-300 anti-aircraft mine which fell in Dagestan on 8 October 2020, during the Karabakh War. There's no question it was S-300s that landed in Poland. And here is Biden. Unlikely the missile fired by Russia. Joe Biden admits current data contests accusations that the rockets was launched by Russia. The US President has revealed that preliminary information on the trajectory shows it's very likely that Moscow, very unlikely, that Moscow was behind the incident, which reportedly killed two people. Poland, Ukraine and a number of other nations immediately blamed Russia and called for emergency meetings. Well, fuck their meetings. Fact is, NATO did not see the missiles coming, NATO did not stop the missiles coming in, and it's two old archaic missiles. That is the facts. And then we have this. There is no definite evidence of who fired rockets that fell in East Poland, Polish President Duda. I'm not going to read the rest of it, you can block, stop the thing and read it. Again, the question remains, why was that incoming missiles not spotted by NATO and intercepted by NATO? And then this post was done on Twitter a little, a few minutes back. The S-300 strike seems to have come from the Ukrainian side, US. Because of the trajectory, it's unlikely to be a Russian strike. British media, naturally. Russian bombs hit Poland. Russian missiles. All of that. The question remains, what the fuck is NATO's excuse? Why did they not see the missiles coming? Why did they not intercept it? That is the question that must be answered. Please give it a like and a share. Subscribe. Thank you for your support.